Okay, so now we're going to use physics to create a convex object. So first thing I'll do again is create a bit of ground. Go over to my utilities, uh, make it physical, select static rigid body, um, and add selected. So wait till that completes. All right, now I'll make a a different object, perhaps a torus. There and uh, oops. move this object up a bit. Perhaps rotate the object a bit so it's going to be a little bit more interesting when it falls. Uh, go back to move so it's not quite on the ground. Okay, so uh, can't actually physically. Um, simulate this object because it's got a hole in it. So what I need to do is turn this into a convex object. So I can go over here to my physics utility and press geometry tools. I'll go over to geometry tools, go to this create convex hull, I can change the, how, how accurate or how, how many vertices I should have for my hull and press create hulls. So now it's created a convex hull to replace my torus. So I can delete, oops, deleted the wrong object. Uh, so now I can delete my torus out of the scene and I have a convex hull which represents it no longer has the hole in the middle. So I can select this object now, go up to my physics control panel, say I want to make it physical, uh, and set it as a dynamic rigid body, all of these properties are ok. So uh, going back to my control panel I can press add selected. Now it's added that object to the scene, press continuous and my object falls onto the ground. Again, cloud export. And that's it.